two pitch, swung on, hammered foul. Out of play on the right side, and we'll do the 0-2 once again. Oh, look, it'll be a whole lot more aggressive right now than he could have been with a 4-3 lead. Yeah. 7-3 lead makes a world of difference. Breaking pitch, I just missed outside. Stay down, Tyler. Stay down. Irvin showed some discipline, not jumping out of his shoes on that off-speed curveball. One-two pitch, coming. Stovall kicks, fires, pitch swung on, wraps to the Urquhart deep in the hole, throws over. Got it. Did he get him? And call him safe at first. Urquhart went deep in the hole at short, threw across his body. Farrell with the stretch at first. And Irvin beats the wrap, and he's on board with an infield hit. That's the first hit given up by Stovall in this relief stint. Second time Corey's made that play today in this game, and not quite able to get either guy. I thought he got him. I thought the Mercados was safe earlier in the game, but I thought he might have been out. Luke Adams takes a pitch on the black for a strike. Stovall going after him. Lead-off single for Irvin. Takes a short lead. Bulldogs lead 7-3. Boy, that's in there for a strike. 0-2 the count. Cumberland, seven runs, 10 hits, one error. Union, three hits. Excuse me, three runs, eight hits, one air. Stovall for the bell. Kicks, fires, pitch down, stairs for a ball. One ball, two strikes. Now Tyler Alford, change up in the dirt. Not a bad 0-2 pitch. Alford, as we said, best defensive catcher the Bulldogs have. Excellent receiver, good blocker, good thrower. I think he's only going to get better at the plate. Tommy, as he gets more confidence, I think we've seen that over the last couple of weeks. And more at bat, swung on and just nubbed foul to the screen, and the count will stay at one ball, two strikes. McAdams with a single, a double, and a walk. He's been on every time so far tonight. Two for two officially. One ball, two strike count, stove ball. Gets the signal, kicks, fires. Fastball swung on, lifted, foul, out of play on the right-hand side. We will repeat the one ball, two strikes. Stovall working in relief of the starter. He's Kirby. Kirby went four-plus. Stovall's gone the rest of the way. Throw to first. Irvin back easily. McGee at third. Urquhart at short. Lind at second. Farrell playing first base. Alford behind the plate. Stovall's pitch. Breaking pitch just a little high. And Irvin takes that and the count goes two balls, two strikes. I'm surprised that Farrell's holding him on. Four run lead. worry about him. Just get the guy at the plate. Still balls. Pitch. Breaking pitch. Off the fist. Nubbed foul. Down the first base line. And we will again repeat the 2-2. Main game tomorrow. Finish the series. The Bulldogs play at home on Tuesday this week against Lee University. That game will be on the radio. At Georgetown on Wednesday, that game will not be on the radio. And then at home next weekend, Friday and Saturday against Bryan College. Bulldogs off weekend in conference play. Scoball's pitch swung on. He chased one out of the strike zone. And Adam McAdams will have a seat on the fourth strikeout of the night for Devin Stovall. Got him to climb the ladder a little bit. He swung and missed at a pitch about 10 high, and that's one out in the inning. 
Bulldogs lead 7-3, Union bats in the bottom of the seventh, second game of the doubleheader. Ian Jost, J-O-S-T, takes a pitch downstairs for a ball. Jost with a sacrifice punt in the second, fly ball to center field in the fourth, and a ground ball out to third in the fifth inning. He's 0 for 2. Stovall. For the bell. Pitch outside for a ball. Count goes 2 0. Union 18 12 on the season. 6 5 1 in the lead. Cumberland 19 17 overall. 6 7 in the lead. Stovall's pitch up. I thought it was up. He called that one a strike. Two balls, one strike. To Kean Jost, the left fielder. R.J. Rayborn awaits in the on deck circle. Stovall to the bell. Swung through and missed for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss by Jost. Kind of an inside out swing. Couldn't get caught up to the heater. So 2-2 two, two with one out and a seven. 2-2 two, two count. Still wrong. Delivers. Swung on. Lifted foul. Passed us in the press box. Thanks to Stephen Aldridge for his hospitality and his game crew. You know, the concession stand set up baseball team between innings. How many burgers they had to cook up to feed that bench. I was wondering where all the buggers came from. Two balls, two strikes. Swung on, wrapped to Farrell at first. Farrell will get him by himself, get the out, let the runner move up. No problem there. Good decision, Cody Farrell. Two outs in the inning. Irvin advances to second. Joe grounds out to Farrell. So two out in the inning. Runner in scoring position at second base in the person of Will Irvin. But it's a 7-3 game. Don't worry about that guy at second. Infield, infielders are back. Ready to make a play on the batter. Pitch fastball down and away for a ball. R.J. Rayborn, R-A-Y, B-O-R-N. Pronounced Rayborn. Had a single, a single, and a walk. He's two for two on the day, and both of them will act in there for a strike. Little duck snorts out into right field. One ball, one strike. Union down to their last out here in the seventh inning. Cumberland lost the opener one nothing in a Brilliant pitching performance by both pitchers. Breaking pitch just missed. Wonder if that went around the plate. More of a roundhouse curveball. Count goes two and one. Two balls, one strike to Rayborn, the second baseman. It swung and fouled back, and the count goes even at 2-2. Fresh baseball for Devin Stovall, the sophomore, as we'll play the two-ball, two-strike, two-out pitch. That's Irvin. Stovall through the belt. Kicks, fires. Pitch swung on. Hit the earth card. Charges. One hand. Throws it across the barrel. And that will be that. 6-3 on the ground ball. And the Bulldogs come away with the 7-3 victory over Union in the nightcap. No runs for Union in the seventh. No runs on one hit. No errors. One man left the board. Your final... 7-3, Cumberland, 